Hello YouTube, Robnick66 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Macman Intermodal Bogey Wagon, wagons with containers. Um, there they are there, I haven't bothered to put them in the box. As you may know, I've had them for quite a while now, and they're really good. This is one of the boxes they come in. See there, the code is 37305A, Intermodal Bogey Wagon with two 45 foot containers, DHL. I got it for... £24 and it comes in with two, so she doesn't think too bad. And then here's the other box, and it's got the other sleeve in there. Just there, it's really nice. It's um, standard packaging, back moan. You just take it's in the clear packaging, so you just undo that, and it's there. And it's wrapped up in like cellophane and stuff, so yeah, they're well packaged, which is nice. All right, so onto the containers. So here they are, they are really well detailed, let's have a look at the containers first. As you can see, the bottom comes off, and there's nothing in there, and then this is the bottom, and it's got a metal weight on it to help weigh it down, but I find it's better to have a bit of wood in it, so I cut some wood up to put in it to help weigh it down, and that makes a huge difference when going over points. So the containers. Without the bottom, it's really light, and I mean really light. It's got some really nice detail on it, you can see. There's DHL on it, it's got all the numbers and stuff for it. The sides of DHL there, Express and Logistics. It's got a website, and the other end it just says DHL. So yeah, that's really nice. And then the other one's exactly the same. Got a bit of wood in that one as well to help weigh it down. It really helps when you put something in there. It really does. So just take. As you can see, there's the wood. Let me just put that back on and I'll show you the actual intermodals. Start with this one first, they're both the same. And as you can see, they're really well detailed. There's Uni Look there of them. It's got a bit of undercarriage detail like this tank here. And these themselves are not really light, they've got a little bit of weight to them. Because the main of it's metal, like all this bit under here. Um, another problem is with it's derailing, it's got really small wheels as you can see. So that doesn't help with it derailing. It's got sprung buffers. See there, it's got an NEM coupling at this end, and then um, up here, there's just one buffer and it's sprung, and it's got this special coupling here to join them both together. Close couplers, they're, it's really good when they're going round. I have that instead of this one, and then you get a couple of spare with it. Also, what I like is this detail at the end here, and all like different holes and like brake wheels. So that's really nice. They say they look really good when they're going round, especially if you get quite a few. And then run some empty with them, some with the containers on. And then it's a really nice noise as they go over the track. So that's nice. And then this is the other one. It's exactly the same, but it just hasn't. I've only got. I haven't got a coupling. It just knocks in there. Also, it's got a buffer for the other side. I'm not sure why it's like that. Just put it back on. This bit can be a bit fiddly. Let me just, excuse me. I'm not sure if you can see, but I'll just, um, right, um, I'll just put it in. Sorry about this, it's really annoying not having a tripod. A tripod. We call it a tripod. Right, so it goes in like that. It goes in quite easily. But the thing is, when you're trying to put them on with it, it's a bit fiddly. There we go. So we'll just bring the 67 up. The Rexima Shop is 67. Couple it up. Oh, 
link couple. Oh, that's why I haven't got the coupling at that end. Sorry about this, wasn't really paying much attention. I make a lovely noise when they're going round, when they go over the points and stuff. Oh, as you can see, it's the road. That's quite common. And there's no weight on it. Put the wheels back on. It is really annoying, but not much I can do about it. So let's put the containers on. One on each. There we go. The actual trains derailed. I need to put that back on. So, sorry about this. Go through the station there. Watch it come by here. Hopefully no derailments. No, nope, all seems to be okay. Okay, so that was the review of the back intermodals. And thanks for watching.